All right, so what I like to do when I'm preparing for an exam is to take a look at the exam objective. So let's head over to the CompTIA's website. And I'll go ahead and fill that out. The reason why you want to do that is because later on you're going to start figuring out what areas you're weakest in, and this will help you stay focused and able to drill down on those areas. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And we have it for later. I'm going to go here and take we take a look at the core one and core two um, objectives. First one is core one. So this one here is a maximum of 90 questions. I ended up having 82 on this exam, four of which were performance based questions. The length of the test is 90. And your passing score, you have to get at least a 675. The different domains are uh, mobile devices, which is 14%, networking, which is 20%, hardware, which is 27%, virtualization and cloud computing, which is 12%, and hardware and network troubleshooting, which is 27%. Now, I recommend on every exam, at least the CompTIA ones, that you do the performance-based questions at the end, so save them to the end. It's really helpful to do that. Um, let's take a look at Core 2. So Core 2 has a maximum of 90. I had 84 questions on that, and three of which were performance-based questions. Um, test length is the same, 90 minutes, and but you have to get a higher score. It has to be 700 on that one. And so the domains, our operating system is 27%, security is 24%, software troubleshooting is 26%, and operational procedures is 23%. So after this, I like to head over to YouTube. And I'm going to search for uh, Professor Messer videos. We want to grab his playlist for CompTIA um, 2201001A plus training course. It's a playlist for the core one, and then you want to do also for core two. We'll just take a look at core one real quick because they're both the same in regards to how the playlist works. So here's the playlist here. And so what I do is I just go in order all the way down um, the first time through. And uh, after I go through them once all the way through that way, then I kind of pick and choose and the areas that I'm weakest in, I go ahead and drill on those again. So while I'm studying that, I go over to Amazon and I ordered exam cram. This book was super helpful. Um, the reason why is because he approaches the objectives differently than Professor Messer, which is helpful to really understand you know what you're learning plus practice tests in each chapter and you get them at the end of the book and it's really helpful to start getting used to taking tests because when you go take your exam you don't want to be nervous right so and then another thing you get to you can take notes and mark down in those areas where you're weakest in when you take the test that way you can go back and either reread the chapter in that section or drill down more with professor messer videos and then the last thing i did was i go to a site called exam compass which is a website that helps you practice uh, has practice tests and what i did there is i went ahead and took all these practice tests there's 25 in each section and when I was getting 90% or higher, I went ahead and scheduled my exam. And the beautiful thing about this is once you go through here and here, you can start even focusing on, let's say, your weakest in your protocols. So you go up here and you jump in, you start focusing on this section. Or if you're weaker in your wireless, you go here and start focusing on that section. So um, it's a really helpful site. I highly suggest it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, please leave them below. And if you could like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon, I would appreciate that.
I'll be releasing more videos on not only A+, but also on Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, Server+, Plus. and also I'm going to be releasing lab videos helping those that want to get into networking. I believe labs are so important for that. And so until next time.